I'll miss you. I'll miss you, bro. It was a journey lined with blood, sweat, and many, many tears. I've just gotten such like a deep attachment with the people here. I've gotten so close to God, and they're just so they're just so amazing. They've known each other barely a week, coming from different cultures, using different languages. But something about this gathering in the mountains of Brazil transcends all barriers. Oh, my brother! The first night, he's, he's like my Brazilian brother. You can't separate us. Seventy teenagers from Metro Atlanta's Dunwoody United Methodist Church yeah. traveled upward into the Brazilian countryside. More than an hour from the beaches and luxurious hotels. The destination, a camp where locals gather for church conferences and worship. The chores here ranged from clearing paths through the thick, sweaty jungle to building additions to a church and cabins. There were dirty jobs and dirtier jobs. Just ask Allison Rock, who helped clean a pond. Everything was done with a smile. So how would you describe your experience here in Brazil so far? Amazing. Through it all, the teens worked side by side with Brazilian counterparts who came with broken English, some of them anyway. We knew maybe a word or two of their language. That didn't stop us from sharing our passions, whether it was their form of football or ours. Often, we communicated with open arms. The labor and the love formed bonds stronger than all the mortar in the world. We love you. You're so special. You know, is in my heart. Friendships have been formed, and it's just one of those things where the spirits just moved us. And it's emotional. This language needs no translator. I love Brazil. <laughs> we love Brazil.